at the Challenge Championship race out in Slovakia. We have got an absolutely stacked field here. All the pro bikes have been lined up in transition. So earlier I had a little look round and we found some pretty cool stuff for you. Rudy Wilds bike and it's a couple of really cool bits here. We got some Bond Zero Plus shoes, custom with his name on there, Wild. But the bit I love actually, he's got the new Cervelo P5 disc here and he's used the aero bottle from the down tube. He's got an additional one. He's stuck it to his aero bars. He's cut a hole in the back of it and then put an aero straw in. So it's a really nice little aero bottle that works with the bars. It's Ingenious. Well, this isn't something we see all that often. This pro has not got their bike shoes on their bike, so they've clearly got the bike shoes in their transition bag. They plan on putting them on there, running through. Um, yeah, just really unusual, clearly not going for the flying mount as everyone else is in this field. Right, so here with Ben Knut's Trek Speed concept. We featured this before in a pro bike, but something I've just noticed now before the race start is that he's actually got some tape on the saddle. Now this is like a rubberized texture, which feels quite grippy actually. So obviously Ben wants to stay nice and firmly in place. Maybe he struggled with slipping around on the saddle. So that's really cool. Just cut to size, stick it on. I'm sure he could just replace it as and when as well. Uh, one other thing I've noticed is actually some Bontrager uh, bike shoes on here. Custom, Canute on one side, USA on the other, also with the stars and the blue and red and white colors on there. Really nice. Well, everyone loves a Sebastian Keenly bike and he has not disappointed this time because we've got the Scott Tri Shoes here, but a custom colorway with Sebastian Keenly written on them. It's also got the brand new SRAM Axis group set, which is completely redesigned. So it's actually got 12 sprockets on the back. And to account for that, they've got a slightly narrower chain, which is also flat along the top, which looks absolutely wicked. Um, it also got a one by setup. And really exciting addition to this bike this year is he's got the speed bars, which we're seeing on a number of pros now. So these are custom molded to their arms. David McNamee's got a set. We've also got a set on Lucy Charles here and Reese Barclays. Um, but yeah, they look absolutely monstrous. They're, they just look like a weapon on the front of the bike. Um, and also just something I noticed now is Sebastian's actually cut a hole in the front of his um, aero bottle here on the front of the Scott Plasma. So he's actually repositioned the straw and then used a magnet on the front. Obviously just works better for his position. Right, well, we are a big fan of Andy Giants here on the channel. Absolute animal on the bike. But his bike also is incredible. He's got the Villiers turbine. It's the paintwork that just really stands out. It's got that sort of like very slight glittery effect to it, but wow, it is stunning. And here we have in the pro transition, uh, let's scrap that, I'm just struggling to get in here, but this is Lucy Charles's S-Works bike here. Um, but I've actually noticed her bike shoes. Well, there's something I've not seen before. There's some S-Works bike shoes. Um, they've got a boa in the middle, actually on the tongue. Um, but the bit that really stood out to me is just how thin they are. So they almost look like paper on the top. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible. Really well ventilated and I'm imagining extremely light. Right, we're here with Joe Skipper's bike. Absolutely fantastic rider. We've actually done a pro bike with this exact bike. So we'll have a bit more detail on this coming soon. But he's on the new Quintana Roo disc. Um, and he's also got a number of really cool Drag to Zero editions. We've got the brand new Drag to Zero aero bars, which just a couple of athletes have at the moment. I mean, these have got a really unusual shape, but you can rest your forearms onto these pads here. But the really cool bit is the 3D printed ends to them. So they're almost like little holders that you put your thumbs over. You feel like you're in the cockpit of a fighter jet or something. Um, he's also bodged a, a little metal bar across there so you can put the armrests in a little bit closer. He's got a 62 single chain ring on there. He's going one by. He's also got a rotor one piece cassette. So it's one of the lightest cassettes out there on the market. Um, and also no a number of cool ceramic speed additions. It's the bike of Agnieszka Zierska. Really sorry if I got the pronunciation wrong there, but I tried as hard as I could. It's an absolutely beautiful Orbea bike here in a beautiful custom colorway. And to match that, she's got some bond shoes in exactly the same colorway with her name on it, which look brilliant. But I've also noticed on the back here, she's got some oversized pulley wheels with a nice fade effect again in the same colorway. A really, really nice looking machine. But if you're looking to learn anything from Pro Transitions, 
this probably isn't one of them. Now, we are just moments away from starting the race here at the championship. And this person in the pro field, Milos, um, has clearly forgotten to charge their DI2. So they've got a power bank here going with their charging cable. Very last minute prep. I'm sure that was a little bit tense last night when they realized they hadn't done that. This is Anya Ipak's bike here, or previously known as Anya Berenik. She's riding the Quintana Roo PR6 disc, which is a fairly new bike, came out either at the end of 2018 or beginning of 2019, I'm not too sure. But it features something called the Shift Plus technology, which is very different from a lot of bikes. You'll notice it here with a rather oversized rear stay as compared to the other side. The idea is that you're trying to shift the wind over to the non-drive side because the drive side is quite messy in terms of the airflow because of the chain ring spinning around. Whether it actually works or not, I don't know, but it's a cool concept nonetheless. This is a Lisa Roberts bike. This is the brand new P3X, only recently released. Now, the P3X is actually lighter, stiffer, and slightly cheaper. Um, but yeah, still an incredible bike, ever so slightly different from the previous P5X, which is still around. Um, but something that also I just noticed just now as I'm talking about the bike, is actually she's got some SLF jockey wheels, which are quite similar to ceramic speed oversized jockey wheels. Um, same um, idea and principle is that you're trying to smoothen out that chain flow, uh, reduce the friction going around tight angles. But it's also in nice American custom design. There's some fantastic stuff in there. Really interesting to see those speed bars on so many bikes. Sebastian Keenley's, Lucy Charles, Dave McNamee's, Reese Charles Barkley. They're not cheap bars either. Um, but I hope you liked today's video. Please do hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more from GTN, just click on the globe and subscribe. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about this event, the championship race, you can find our championship in numbers video by clicking just down here. If you'd like to see some more tech videos, then just click down here.